Outlook is not just a platform where you can check your emails. You can also check your calendar. This syncs through all of the Microsoft 365 applications on your account. So, if you plan a meeting in Microsoft Teams, this meeting will appear on your Outlook calendar as well. There is a chance you already know that. So today I'm going to give you four useful tips on how you can use your Outlook calendar like a pro. Tip number one, adding a calendar. In Outlook, you don't have to be stuck to one calendar. You can add multiple different calendars. For example, from your coworkers, a room from Outlook, or even a calendar from the internet. To do this, go to the calendar screen with an Outlook and click in the ribbon on top of the screen on Add Calendar. From the drop-down menu, you can choose if you want to add a calendar from your contacts, from a room list, or from a URL from the internet. Whenever you add a calendar, it gets added to the Shared Calendars drop-down menu on the left side of the screen. When you check the box next to an added calendar, its items will now show up on the calendar screen. You can add as many calendars as you want. Tip number two, creating a meeting from an email. Do you want to plan a meeting based on an email you received? That's really easy. The only thing you have to do is drag the email in question to the calendar button at the bottom left of your screen. What happens now is that the same screen will pop up that you would see if you plan in a regular meeting. However, the name of the email you dragged has been added as the name for the meeting, and the contents of the email have been added to the meeting notes. When you click on Invite Attendees in the ribbon, you can add everyone you want to have in this meeting. When you're finished planning the meeting, click Send. Tip number three changing the time scale of your calendar. By default, the time scale for your calendar is set to 30 minutes. That time scale isn't always convenient, especially if you want to manage your calendar with more detail. Luckily, you can change this time scale by right-clicking on the far left side of the calendar screen where all of the times are displayed. In the menu that now appears, you can choose which time scale to use. Let's use 10 minutes as an example. You can now see that the hourly sections have gotten bigger and you can micromanage your calendar more efficiently. Tip number four, add your calendar to an email. When someone asks you when you would have time to go do something or have time to meet with them, it would be a good idea to send that person a bit of your calendar. This will make deciding when to meet a little bit easier for the both of you. You can do this by popping the email out into its own window and by clicking on the Insert tab on the ribbon. Navigate to Calendar and click it. Once you do, a new window will pop up with a few options on how you want to share your calendar. You can choose which calendar to share, which part of the calendar you'd like to send, and which details are shown on the calendar. You can also choose to only share the calendar items between your work hours and other settings underneath the Advanced Settings button. Click OK to add the calendar to the email you want to send. And those are four useful tips on how to use your Outlook calendar like a pro. Now go and try it out for yourself. Good luck.